So it's my pleasure to once again welcome you here to the uh, TEDx NASA JSC Women event. I'm Ellen Ochoa. I'm the Deputy Center Director here at Johnson Space Center. And even though our theme today is about shaping the future, I wanted to just start off uh, by first commemorating the past. Um, I had the privilege of flying a very significant historic artifact during one of my space shuttle missions to the International Space Station. It was a banner of the National Women's Party, which was used 100 years ago as the party, the party was um, fighting to secure for women the most basic right of a democracy, the right to vote. Women's suffrage provided a greater representation of diverse views in our political and social system. And that was an important milestone that really step by step eventually led to NASA's selection of the first six women astronauts in 1978. And 20 years later, my third space mission, STS-96, included three women, and you see us here um, I'm on the left, uh, Tammy Jernigan is on the right, and Julie Payette of the Canadian Space Agency is in the middle. And you're, you see us holding that National Women's Party banner, which uh, was so significant to, to our history. And I was very proud to carry that banner into space in honor of all the women who had come before us, making it possible for us to pursue that career. This is also a really um, interesting picture for me to see now because this was at the very beginning of the assembly of the International Space Station. Uh, it was only the second space shuttle mission um, as part of the assembly, and it was the very first one to dock with the space station, which of course at that time was just um, two pieces hooked together, the, the Russian FGB module and the uh, US node called Unity, and you can see us floating there in the middle of the node. And so now this year, uh, we've finished the assembly of the International Space Station, uh, close to a million pounds of hardware in space, um, laboratories from the United States, from the Japanese Space Agency and the European Space Agency, and um, people working um, all the time doing experiments, using it as a technology test bed, and learning how to really live and work in space. So from that point of view, this picture is very significant to me also. Today, women are represented throughout the NASA family, and they share the attributes that have always been important at NASA throughout its history, education, determination, and enthusiasm, and an absolute belief that there's nowhere else we'd rather be and nothing else that we'd rather be doing. You're going to hear from some of our talented women today talking about a variety of activities that they're engaged in. If you're inspired by astronauts Katie Coleman or Dottie Metcalf Lindenberger, then check to see if you meet the requirements of becoming an astronaut. We're in the process of accepting applications right now for a new class of astronauts that will join us in 2013. Among some of the other speakers, you'll hear from the International Space Station's chief scientist, Julie Robinson, on experiments that can't be done on Earth about engineering innovation from Laura Bailey, and about exploring the solar system with a microscope from Keiko Nakamura Messenger. And if you know high school students or you're a high school student tuning in, think about applying for our WISH program. That stands for Women in STEM High School Aerospace Scholars. And that's a program where high school juniors participate in an online community during the school year and then come here to Johnson Space Center for a summer week-long wor workshop where they design a mission to Mars. And for middle school students, maybe wondering what it is that women who study STEM fields actually do at NASA, you can check out our new website and videos on the Women at NASA website under the Aspire to Inspire section. These were videos of people that work here at Johnson Space Center. The videos and that part of the website was created by men and women working here at JSC. And you'll learn even more about what women are doing today at Johnson Space Center in shaping the future of human exploration in space. So enjoy your morning. Thank you.